greatest music station in the world. Act like you know it. This better not be another cop here, man. No, man, this is strictly for the home. I gotta be honest with you, CJ. We could be getting into some heavy shit, baby. What you into, Smoke? A lot of shit about to go down, Carl. Family's coming back, ballers pushing base, rushing cash with nothing to lose about the bus of ass. CJ, get in here! Oh, there you are! Yo, some cover that glass like fools in this motherfucker! Ice those fools, CJ! Big smoke, you make big mistake. Watch yourself, CJ, I think they pissed! CJ, take the right and cover my ass! Keep it up, baby! That's my dog, making y'all pay! With me, CJ, we out of here, baby. Stick real close, Carl. Keep your head down the head, stick it. Smoke, you and your friends are dead men. Motherfucker, back me up. That's my homie, CJ. <laughs> homie, you ice cold, baby. Pit. A middle class disaster, a guilt trip wrapped in neuroses and completely unable to function in this society. No wonder I've begun to sleep around. And on that note, we have to go visit our marriage therapist. There was a conniving bitch and won't write me any more prescriptions for painkillers. Remember, when the left wing and the right wing come together, <laughs> the country can really get going. Straight off a cliff. We'll see you next time. Boy, I can't imagine what those guys are like in the bedroom, but I'm sure it's a bit like the Bay of Pigs. That was I Say You Say. Why do Time to return the favor! Like my arm and two of my ribs. What happened? I married my childhood sweetheart, but it all went wrong. He's become a drunk, and he has a substance problem, too. And now he beats me every day. Stay with him, honey. After all, you're only lonely when you're alone. But he keeps threatening to kill me. Jenny, do you know the meaning of the phrase homewrecker? No. What about selfish bitch? I want to...
the bike, Smoke. Waste any motherfucker that follows us. The world is full of ink edible things, and you can discover them for yourself. Come along, I'll take you there. It was dusk, and the sun bled red over the city in Thailand as Chen brought me a sparkling water. A delicate, handsome, lovely young boy. The world was a good but war is folly, and we can only unite by visiting these epochs of culture, where a man can be himself, smoke cigarettes, dress in gladiator clothing if he likes. We mustn't force our way and culture upon other peoples. Rather, breathe it in, become part of it. Maybe Hemingway was right about love. Maybe Freud was. We're all fighting inside to let a wild creature mate in the rain. I travel, therefore I am. This is a show that embraces culture from around the world. Let's take our first court. Surprised to find out how the party never stops. How's the food? Well, a lighter is the most you need to cook up food, but there's scarcely time to eat, my boy. You'll meet fascinating people, feel so comfortable, you'll rip your clothes off and howl for days. Next caller. Yeah, hi. My name's Geraldine, calling from Casa City. This is such a great country. Why would you go anywhere else? It's unpatriotic to travel. I mean, I got war, famine, depression, and pollution right here on my doorstep. And parents, don't let kids go a rail after college. They'll come back with ludicrous misconceptions about healthcare, charity, and the. The showers as much as the next man, sometimes more. But I have to agree. You. I'm sure the summit of your aspirations in life is a cheerleader with fake guns, but some of us think a little more exotically than this. Next caller, vamos, buenos dias and noches. If you don't smile, I won't deep honor. Sorry, got lost for a second. Speak. Hey, I love this show. I'm a huge fan. I visit all the places you've recommended, and in a lot of them, they're still talking about you. I even saw posters of you in the customs booth at the airport in the Philippines. You rock! And no doubt, I love Manila. What a great time. But that show you did last week, what was the name of that spiritual center in Bangkok? The Wild Dragon's Happy Ending. Very spiritual. You will find inner peace. Awesome! I can't wait! Thanks, man! Yes, we all... about a perfectly innocent collection of vacation photographs overseas that I had no idea were being taken. I mean, any ignorant fool can misinterpret. I, I was teaching them how to swim. I have a lot of experience with this. I want you to stop for a moment and let me read from my travel journal. I think everyone should keep a journal. 
paste pictures, notes. Sometimes people object to you taking their picture, but a few pennies of their local currency and they will fawn over you. Some people think this is patronizing, but I think it is fair enough. They need the money and I need the company. Besides which, it is the oldest profession. What? Oh, time for me to head south again. I'm James Pedeston, and this has been The Wild Traveler. R, it's the man coaches hate. It's Derek Thackeray in the tight end zone. Brought to you by Eris Pump Up Shoes. Shit, man, they come a force in a truck. Don't tell me about it. Take it off the road. Pop it. Damn, look at all this trap. Get out of the way. I'm coming through. We got bikes on our six. Smash it, smoke. Welcome back to the... Hold on tight, baby! Ah, smoke, no! I'm your host, Derek Thackeray. What a crazy year it's been. Let's recap. Drug scandals involving preschool soccer moms. Ha, ha, woo! And the national finals, rich and popular people are fighting it out. Pay attention. The country is in mourning. And most importantly, sports, where we talk to a fitness expert about the crucial role of endorsed clothing. And who could forget, we visit the greatest moments. Here he comes. He's in the shadows. There he is. Is he going to make it? Yes, he did. Ladies and gentlemen, what you have just witnessed is the biggest... Neanderthal, and my favorite, the most stupid gorilla in the jungle. Jack, welcome to the show. Kip Wong. <laughs> Good to be here, Dex. Pleasure. Yeah. So your movies Exploder and Annihilator got America through some tough times and... No, this is a romantic comedy with drama, it's got action, it's got a heart. That's what's most important, I think. Okay, well, let's take a listen to the trailer. All right, let's roll that. He was a man at war with himself. Now, Jack Howitzer is Tim in his most... Soon, he becomes one of them. What is this? That's teacher's gun. You want to see it? Cool. Ah! Oh, you gone and shot yourself. Way to go. <laughs> he was finally beginning to live a normal life. Then, all hell breaks loose. Tim, you're so stupid. You count with your fingers. You want to party with me? Bring it on! Tim, what are you doing? I fought for my country. Welcome to the land of freedom. He had a lot to learn. Drugs are a problem throughout all of society, and I fight them by any means necessary. Yeah, but you use drugs. No, 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 I'd rather die than use drugs. I use steroids and some recreational blow, but I got the funds for it. You know, I got the money. Yeah, don't you think you're just a little out of touch? Whoa, 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 yeah. I'm rich and I work in Vinewood, okay? I'm not out of touch. Action, weightlifting, and killing foreigners. That never goes out of style, Dex. My last film, okay, Loincloth about a wrestler who's dropped into Thailand and I saved the world by teabagging the bad guys. That's a spiritual picture. That's love teabagging. That stuff ain't out of style. Yeah, things are more sensitive now. I was affected, all right, when Ho Chi got hurt and exploded. I mean, I, I thought it was time to do something, a film that made a difference. Yeah, but Ho Chi was a character. Exploder 
was a movie. Right, right, and I was there, and I should have killed them all. Don't push me, Dex. I'll give you a war you won't believe. That look in your eye, right here, right now. Okay, oh, uh, uh, Jack, Jack, uh, all I'm saying... This is a submachine gun. Come on, it's not serious. Oh, but you're Billy Dexter. Who put you up to this? Gorbachev.